the book bark answers of the mauryans and the sungas okay okay as we have already studied uh, quickly revise i'll give you uh, i think 10 minutes time will do yeah okay yes ma'am when you're done just tell me okay okay ma'am Ma'am, do I have to do the questions? Yeah, everything. Right from the okay. uh, choose the best answer uh, till your detail, everything completely. Okay, make it very thorough. Okay, ma'am.
Yes, ma'am. I'm getting a call. Just two minutes. Okay, ma'am. Are you ready, Jasmine? Can we go? Okay.
Okay, want me to present it? Ma'am, I you to present it or I like for what happened. One minute. You can be louder. Okay. Mention the area. Some students speak from the part and from the part. Yeah, read louder. Some students type from E part or D part. Ah, uh, the D part is run right. So you can start from E. Okay, ma'am. Describe the contribution of the Indo Greek. The Indo Greek rulers were the one whose coins carried the portrait of kings and their names. They were the first rulers to issue gold coins. They influenced the Indian century astronomy. The Gandhi school of art was developed under Indo Greeks. Explain briefly the reforms introduced by the government. The uh, Rudra Dhaman was the most powerful Shaka ruler. Information about his kingdom is provided by the edicts in Bangkok, Renal Mountain in Sunagar, Kuchrap. He issued silver coins on which his figure was engraved in order to provide good irrigation facilities. He repaired the Sudarshan Lake in Kathiawar, Kuchrap. How did how did Greeks influence the fields of science, literature, and art of India? One can you scroll down? Yeah. The Greek influence India in abating the science and technology. The term horoscope has been derived from the Greek term horosestra. The manufacturing of leather shoes started during this period to influence our language and literature because we have adopted many words from them. He also influenced our art. The Gandhi School of Art and Mathura School of Art were developed during this period. They contributed to the development of Indian theater. How did the contact? How did the contact with Central Asia influence Indian people life? The contact with Central Asia made a deep impact on Indian societies. Earlier, the Indians were using unstitched clothes. The concept of stitched clothes was introduced for the first time. They also influenced the use of helmets. Why is Kanishka famous in Indian history? Kanishka is famous in Indian history uh, because of the following achievements. He conquered Kashmir, snaps Punjab and Mathura from Saka. He embraced Buddhism. He took measures to spread the religion of Buddha to the other lands like Tibet, Japan and Korea. Done? 
Mom, can you score up the attacking device? Okay, sure. Describe the contribution of Indo Greeks. The Indo Greek rulers were the one whose coins carried the portrait of kings and their names. They were the one. They were the first rulers to issue gold coins. They influenced the Indian science and astronomy. The Gandhi school of art was developed under Indo Greeks. Explain briefly the reforms introduced by Rudradaman. Rudradaman was the most powerful Shaka ruler. Information about his kingdom is provided by dicts engraved on Girnar Mamma in Junagar, Gujarat. He issued silver coins in which his figure was engraved in order to provide good irrigation facilities. He repaired the Sudarshan Lake in Katyabur, Gujarat. How did the Greek influence the, science, the field of science, literature, and art of India? Come, can you scroll down? The Greek influenced Indian updating their science and technology. The term horoscope has been derived from the Greek term horosastra. The manufacturing of leather shoes started during this period. The he influenced and they influenced our language and literature because we have adopted many words from them. He also influenced our art. The Gandhi School of Art and Mathura School of Art were developed during this period. They contributed to the development of Indian theater. The Greek influence used in updating the science and technology. The term horoscope has been derived from the Greek term horostra. The manufacturing of leather shoes started during this period. He influenced our language and literature because we have adopted many words from them. He also influenced our art. The Gandhi School of Art and Mathura School of Art were developed during this period. They contributed to the development of Indian theater. Okay, dear. It's done. Mama, I was taking it again. After. Okay, I'll stop sharing it. Mama, I'm memorizing it. No. Okay. Yes, yes, ma'am. Mom, I'm memorizing it. Your video's off, so I just asked you.
Done, just ma'am. Ma'am, uh, this answer is a little hard, so I I will take time to memorize okay, okay. it. No, your video is off, so I I'm asking you. Can you turn on your video? Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, two minutes. Mom done. Okay. I'll ask you the questions. Okay, Where did Mom. Meander establish his rule in India? Meander established his rule in India over Punjabi Okay. Mention the areas where the continuous Greeks were very valuable. Contribution of Greeks were very valuable. The, uh, the contribution of Greeks was valued, valuable in Lakshastra, structures, finance system, and trade. Okay. Who were Kushans and why did they come to India? Kushans were the kings of Western China. Uh, they were also known as Yuji. They were defeated by the Huns, so they came to India to settle. Mention five words which have been adopted from Greek and other language. Tora, Kalam, Surang, Lake. Okay. How did the Greek influence our coinage system? The Greeks influenced by coinage system. Mm. How did they influence the coinage? Like, what are the changes they made in the coins? Mom, they shape Mom, of the um, shape of the coin, then engraving self images on both the sides. Okay. 
Yes. So can you repeat the answer? What were the changes made by the Greeks on the coinage system? The changes made by Greeks on coinage system were uh, uh, shapes of shape coins. Of, hmm. The engraved self images on both the engraved self images and names on both the sides of the coins. Okay. Describe the contribution of Indo Greeks. The Indo Greeks have mm. Mam yeah, they have influenced our Indian science and technology. The term horoscope has been derived from the Greek term of Rasastra. They have influenced our art and literature. They have influenced our theaters. The Kandar and Mathura School of Art was developed in this during Okay. Good. One thing you missed and is uh, the the names and the uh, portrait of king uh, on the coin. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Okay. So explain briefly the reforms introduced by Rudra Daman. The reforms. So I have told you the three methods. No, who, where. Why? So, first you have to tell who is Rudra Daman. Tell me, who is Rudra Daman? Ma'am, Rudra Daman is the most powerful Shaka ruler. He... Next, where, where, where? You have to answer the question, where? Ma'am. From where did you find the information about Rudra Daman? His information is in Grave on Devimar, Pillar, Kiyavar in Kuchrat. He hmm. built the Sudarshan Lake for better irrigational facilities. Hmm. He issued the silver coins. Okay. Can you repeat this answer again? Yes, ma'am. Hmm. Rudradaman was the most powerful. Shaka ruler. Hmm. He, the information about him is engraved on Girnar Mountain, Kutyabar, Kutyabar, Junagat, Gujarat. Hmm. Yes, ma'am. He issued silver coins. He built the Sudarshan Lake for better irrigation facility. He did not build, he repaired. Okay. Okay. You only told me this and you forgot. Okay. How did Greek influence the field of science, literature, and art of India? The Indo Greeks influenced Indian science and technology. The term horoscope has been derived from a Greek term horosastra. They hmm. have influenced our art and literature, science and technology, coin system, etc. Hmm. The manufacturing of leather shoes were, hmm. was started during hmm. their period. They have influenced our language and literature because we have. Mom, we have used many words from their language and they influence our art. Okay. The so Gandhar we have to tell the two schools. Mm. The Gandhar and Mathura School of Art were developed during this period. Mom, mm. and there was the last point. The Indian theater. They developed 
the indian, indian. theater by the use of uh, curtains okay good how did the uh, contacts with central asia influence indian social life the contacts with central asia uh, influenced our indian society before the indians used on stitch clothes the concept of stitch clothes mm. the concept of stitch clothes was introduced for the first time they they mom they like influence the use of helmets in helmets leather boot tunics and all okay why is kanishka famous in indian history kanishka is famous in indian history because of these foreign achievements he embraced buddhism he snatched uh, kashmir uh, he snatched uh, he, uh, yeah okay he conquered kashmir and snatched punjab mathura from saka saka hmm. he took measures to spread buddha religion in other places like tibet china japan uh, tibet china, uh, japan and korea okay very good jasmine now i'll ask you quickly i'll ask you the one words and then we'll move on to the next lesson i'll read the lesson with you okay Mm. Okay. Sakas originally belong to. Ma'am, they originally belong to the. Okay. Asia. Kushans were defeated by. Hans. The use of helmets were introduced by. Kushans. Gandhi School of Art uh, made the images only of. Buddha. Okay, Marie. Grand Dawaj was uh, built at Dash by whom? By at Vishnugar by Hari Dol. Okay, who was a famous Kushan ruler? Ram Kanishka. Who contributed to the development of Indian theatre? Ram Greeks. Kanishka was follower of Dash branch of Buddhism. Mahayana. Good. Okay. so i'll share my screen now okay ma'am we'll read this chapter together okay i'll ask you the uh, you have your book with you yes ma'am okay so you have to tell me the answers you can look at your book and you can also tell me okay okay ma'am which was the largest uh, empire that was uh, established after a very long time ma'am the gupta empire in 275 ce hmm tell me ma'am the gupta empire 275 ce okay who established gupta empire ma'am shri gupta okay uh who was the son of uh, shri gupta Ma'am Chandragupta Vani. Oh. Now, uh, listen to the question. Who was the son of Sri Gupta? Ma'am, the son of Sri Gupta. Chandra uh, Gupta. Look in the first paragraph and tell me. Who was the son of Sri Gupta? Ram Ghatotkacha Gupta. Okay. Uh, who was the son of Ghatotkacha? Maham Chandra Gupta Vani. Good. Okay. Who? 
who assumed the title maharaja di raja no playing just man what ma'am you can have your book okay as i'm asking you the question you can just look into the book and answer me okay ma'am ma'am it's chandra gupta yeah who assumed the title maharaja di raja ma'am uh, chandra gupta one okay Mm, who was the father of samudra gupta ma'am chandra gupta one okay what were the three resources where you can find uh, about samudra gupta ma'am uh, 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 inscriptions and a shoka prayer at allahabad iran it is called as samudra gupta Okay, one minute. Who was known as the Napoleon of India? Ma'am, Samudra Gupta. Where do you get the information about Samudra Gupta? Ma'am, uh, inscriptions at Shoka Sam Pillar at Allahabad. No, I'm asking you. Where do you get the information about Samudra Gupta? Ma'am, you just read into page one thirty-five, first paragraph, and tell me. Ma'am Prahasti. Okay, who is Prahasti? Ma'am, Prahasti was the written by Hari Shena. Hmm. What? Ma you just I read. You just read the first paragraph in page number one thirty-five. Ma'am, sovereignty, but not his direct rule. He is also known as Napoleon of India, but. the gupta empire was not as large as that of maurer we get a lot of information about samudra gupta from prahasti by poet hari sena of his court so who wrote uh, prahasti ma'am hari sena okay who assumed the title vikramaditya ma'am chandra gupta ki okay Who's Kalidasa? Ma'am, Kalidasa is a renowned poet of Chandra, poet of uh, Chandra Gupta to his court. Okay. The province were divided into. Ma'am, four varna. The province. Yes, ma'am. The province were divided into. Ma'am, okay. Province... Read uh, this paragraph. The administration. That paragraph. The king was all power. The king was all power, but he ensured that welfare and happiness of the people. He had council of ministers like Mantri, Sachiv, Chandi, Vikharik, Mehasin. senapati maha senapati etc they advised him stayed him but the king was not found to accept their advice the empire was divided into provinces known as bhaktis or desh they were governed by parikram raj or bhagpati mostly princesses were appointed to these posts sometimes other capable and wise persons were also appointed on this post hmm next paragraph 
The provinces bhuktis are divided into vishals and their head is known as vishapati. The they were held by four men on governmental committee. The village administration was under the village headman. Gramyak, the gram panchayat looked after the needs of villagers. Okay, now we understood. So the province were divided into. Ma'am, uh, the province uh, was divided into Vishya. Okay, what was the other name for province? Ma'am, Bhuktis. Okay, who was the head of uh, province? Ma'am, Vish uh, Vishyapati. Parika Maharaja. The head Ma of Vishyas was only... Yeah, okay, fine. Good. Ma'am, the head of... Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Mm. Now this. What was the main source of revenue? Ma'am, the main source of revenue... Ma'am, the main source of revenue of Ma'am, where is it? Mm, read in page 136, economic conditions. Okay, ma'am. Interest rate, rate flourished during this period. Trade was carried on by the river route. Trade related to the Pakistan to the Russian occupation of the Bengal. Um, taxation. Yeah. So, which was the main source of revenue? Um, taxation. Okay. So, um, what temples were built during uh, Gupta period? What, ma'am? There were uh, particular temples were built uh, in large number during Gupta period. What temples? Ma'am... Ma'am, there were read in the paragraph religion. Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, uh, many stone temples were built. Okay. So there's one more question, okay? Mm, who is Samantha's? Samantha's. Ma'am, Samantha. Hmm. Uh, the military leaders. Very good. So, can you tell me two places where you can find the specimens in the cave? Ma'am, uh, we can find in or in this tail. No, no, ma'am.
Mom, Krishna, Leela. Ajanta and Ellora. Okay, the uh, cave paintings are mostly present in Ajanta and Ellora. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, ma'am, I thought you said where we can find the specimens, like the. Uh, yeah, where you can find it's in Ajanta and Ellora. When they ask you for examples of uh, sculptures in Ajanta and Ellora, you have to take uh, Krishna Leela. Okay. 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 The next one, mm. which is known as the San a golden period of Sanskrit literature. Man, the golden period, the Gupta period. Okay. Uh, who is, uh, can you uh, name some works of, okay, that will be asked in question answers. Mm. Which two epics were translated into Tamil? Ma'am, uh, Ramayana and Mahabharata. Okay, can you name the scientist and the mathematician famous during this period? Ma'am, uh, Arya Bhatta. Who wrote Charak Shamita? Ma'am, Charak. Okay, can you tell about Nagarjuna? What did he do? Ma'am, he was the famous scholar of chemistry. Okay, so what did he do? Ma'am, the recipe Iron Pirate my role in New Delhi has never got rusted till today. The composition of it alloys is a fine example of iron technology of the period. Okay, good. Which is considered to be the golden age in uh, age of ancient India? Ma'am, the Gupta period. Okay, good. Okay, I'll give you. Uh, I'll present my screen. Um, for this uh, one, you have to read this one, right? The, yes. the question answers i'll i'll open that too. tomorrow at what time uh, we, uh, can you be present for the class 12 o'clock ma'am uh, 11 11 uh, I'll try to be by 11 o'clock, if not uh, 11.30, okay? 11.30 to 1.30 would be fine. Yes, ma'am. So, uh, to, as we have only 20 more minutes for 8.30, uh, we'll complete with this lesson, Gupta Empire, okay? Okay, ma'am. So, tomorrow we'll have time for the other lessons. The four lessons we'll do it, okay? Okay, ma'am. And uh, when you read it thoroughly, uh, eight thirty when it completes, uh, I'll send a message to your mom. Uh, she'll be asking you. Okay, she'll be asking you the questions from these two lessons, either from the back question. I mean, from the back uh, questions, yeah, or uh, from inside the lessons. But you should be able to answer. Okay, so I'm going okay. to get the feedback because I have not given you test, right? Um, I'm asking you in oral uh, because I've already given you written test. Why I'm not giving you the written test is like because of uh, it will take time and will not have much time to revise. Okay, uh, so I'm going to take the help of your mom. Uh, so he, she will be asking you the questions and she will give me the feedback. Okay. She'll just give me the feedback. She's going to give you an oral uh, test and she'll give me the feedback like how many percentage you, ha you have studied, okay? So based on that, we'll uh, be doing the other chapters. Is that fine with you? 
Yes, ma'am. So, you know who is your examiner now? Who is going to test you? Ma'am, my mother. Okay. So, so you read it. So, uh, it's going to be an assessment for you and for me. Okay. Your mom is going to assess how I have trained you and uh, also how you've been uh, trained up. Okay. With this. Okay. Read this. Is the screen visible? Yes, ma'am. Um, yeah. Ma'am, it is on that uh, something. I'll stop, share it, and I'll share it again. Okay, ma'am. Who established the Gupta Empire and when? Sri Gupta established the Gupta Empire in 275 CE. What was the function of the Gram Panchayat in the Gupta period? Function of the Gram Panchayat was to look after the needs of later. Which items were exported from India during the Gupta period? Ma'am, should I start with E part because I already know these answers. Okay, just go through once. Revise. Only once you just read it. Okay. You take time with E part. Mm. Ma'am, I'm done with the first page. Can you do that? Okay, the E part starts from the second page. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Are you reading? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, what does edict mean? Uh, edict means the inscriptions. Inscriptions means like oh. they'll do it on the uh, hard things like rock and all that. Okay, ma'am. I'm done. Second one, also done? Yes, ma'am. Read louder, Jasmine. Highlight agriculture as an important occupation of the people. Agriculture was the main occupation of the people. The farmers were the owners of land. The main crops were wheat, rice, pulses, barley, sugarcane, cotton, jute, vegetables, etc. Who is Kalidasa? Why is he even remembered even today? Kalidasa was a renowned poet. Of the court uh, in the court of Chandra Gupta too. He was one of the nine gems of the royal court. He is remembered even today for his famous work. They are Abhijana, Shukantalam, Malavikram, Megadutta, and many others. Uh, what is the contribution of Gupta period in the field of science and technology? 
the contribution of gupta period in the field of science and astronomy astronomy had been no less astronomy uh, the contribution of gupta period in the field of science and astrology had been has been no less astronomy astrology mathematics medicine chemistry and many other branch of science were well developed during this period are you thorough we want to revise once mama, again mama. yes ma'am i am reading ma'am mm. Ma'am, can you scroll up? Scroll up. Yes, ma'am. Mom done. Okay, I'll stop share it and I'll ask you the questions. Okay, mom. Who was Arya Bhatta? What is his contribution? Arya Bhatta was a famous mathematician and scientist. He was the one who proved that Earth moves around the sun in its own axis. He wrote a book about uh arya bhatem on mathematics yes ma'am which items were exported from india during gupta period diamonds indigo garments etc are some examples of materials exported from india main the three sources of information about the period of samudra gupta Iran edits, inscriptions of Samudra Gupta at Allahabad, and Mantra mm, Hasti. Coins of Samudra Gupta. Okay, ma'am. Okay, how was the trade carried on in Gupta period? The trade was carried on in Gupta period by road and river. Example: Peshwar in Pakistan, Kaushambi and Mathura in UP, Tamrulipt in Bengal, Assam, Assam road through Barakucha and Gujarat. Ma'am, what ma'am? Barakacha in Gujarat. Ma'am, I only took three examples because I cannot think. Okay, fine. Okay, okay. Okay, and the rivers were? The rivers Nindi, Ganga, Godavari, Brahmaputra, Krishna, and Kaveri were the river routes. Okay. Uh, highlight agriculture is an important occupation of the people. Agriculture was an was the main occupation of the people. The farmers were the owners of their land. They they had to pay for irrigation facilities. The main crops were wheat, rice, uh, barley, jute, etc. Who was Kalidasa? Why is he remembered even today? 
Paris Asa was a renowned poet of Chandra Gupta to sport. He was one of the nine gems. He is famous even today for his famous work like Abhijana Shakuntalam, Malavikantram, Mevaduta. Okay, good. Okay, then. now. Now we'll go on to the next lesson. We'll just read the lesson alone. Okay, ma'am. And tomorrow we'll do the uh, back answers. Okay, ma'am. Tomorrow we'll do the map also. Okay, ma'am. Who succeeded Prabhakara Vardhana? Ma'am. Ma'am Harshvardhana. No. Ma'am Rajavardhana. Yeah. Who killed uh, Rajavardhana? Ma'am. Ma'am Shri Shankar. Who is uh, Harsha Vardhana? Harsha Vardhana uh, was the king of Khan Vivarsa, now Thanesar Haryana, in 1660. He is just? Ma'am, he was uh, 16 years old when okay. he was crowned. Well, from where can you find the sources about Harsha Vardhana? Contemporary scriptions, coins, and some rock edicts. Travel account of Yun Sang, a Chinese traveler. Two Harsharita written by Bana Bhatta. Four Prith. Priyadarshka Nagonan and Ruthan Mali written by himself by Harsha himself. Yeah, okay. Who uh, uh, Harsha wrote which uh, book? Which book was written Mali. by Harsha? Uh, Ratan Mali. Okay. Okay, now read uh, the page administration, that paragraph. The king was all powerful. He was the head of judicial and civil administration. He was also the commander in chief of his army and led his forces into war. His administration was quite similar to that of the Guptas. He had a council of ministers to assist and advise him. His ministers were known as Sachis or Amatyas. The province were also known as Muktis or Desh. These were divided into Vishas or Pradesh. Parika was the head of the province. His work was supervised by Parika Maharaja and Kumar Matya, who was normally a prince. There were village panchayats which were headed by Gramik. He looked after the needs of he looked after the needs of villages. There were other officials also to help him to help the Gramik. Harsha was a benevolent ruler. He built temples, chatyas, bihars, dhamshalas, schools, etc. Nalanda University was granted the income. 
received from 200 villages for its development and maintenance. Okay, what were the ministers were also called as? Ma'am, uh, the ministers were also called as Tathis or Amatya. Okay. Uh, the province were also known as? Ma'am, the province was also known as Dupari. Uh, huh? Um, Ma'am, Bhuktis or Desh. Okay, who was the head of province? Ma'am, the head of province was Uparika. Okay. Uh, what were the prince called as? What, ma'am? What was the prince called as? Ma'am Kumar Matya. Yeah, okay. Who influenced uh, Harsha Vardhana? Ma'am the Guptas. Uh, who influenced who influenced who created a greater impact on the religion in terms of religion in Harshavarta? Ma'am Hilsa. Okay. So this comes in uh, your requested answer, so I'm not asking you that. The what was the amount of uh, tax the people had to pay? Ma'am, one six of the previous system. Where was Nalanda University situated? Ma'am, the Nalanda Uni University was situated at Patna, Bihar. Okay. So, can we continue and uh, finish off this lesson or? How do you want it? Mom, we can finish off this lesson. Okay. I'll I'll share my screen then. Okay, ma'am. Okay, let's not hurry. Okay. We will complete with this. Mm. And we'll end up the class now. Uh but then uh, I'll uh, as like I told you, I'll uh, uh, We'll do the test with your mom, okay? Okay, ma'am. Okay, done. We'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow, uh, please intimate in the uh, WhatsApp uh, about your available timing. Okay, ma'am. And be ready with the maps for okay, practicing. Okay. Okay. Bye. Take care. Ma'am. Ma bye, dear.